guys, so today I'm doing a super out of the box makeup tutorial for me anyway, and it is a sultry, sexy New Year's tutorial, but it's also kind of fun. I'm wearing a headpiece and fake lashes, and the headpiece is falling off of me. And I actually got inspired to do this video about my favorite subscription box, Wantable. And basically, if you don't know what it is, it's just like a regular subscription box service, and it has different collections you guys can choose from. And it's just something that's really cool, and I get a lot of these like collections a month, um, not a month, like a year. And I normally use a lot of the products in tutorials, but I just wanted to share this box because it was like really a good one. So I used some products in there and was inspired to do this look. I also found a picture that one of you guys submitted to me on Twitter. It was this one and I really, really liked it as well. So I wanted to be inspired by that. So I also used that as like a reference picture, but obviously I didn't copy it. I just use it as inspiration. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. So without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so I'm first starting off by priming my face and this is with the face primer that came in my Wantable collection. Now I just want to quickly apologize for my microphone sound. I know it's really, really bad. Um, my microphone recently broke so I have to get another one, but this is only for one tutorial, I promise. It's going to get better after this. But I'm using this so that my makeup will stay on all night, especially because it's New Year's, we're going to be up late. I'm now going to go in with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, and I'm using this as opposed to Painterly because Soft Ochre is more yellow-based, so it catches on to cooler-toned eyeshadows a lot better than a warmer-based tone like Painterly would. And I'm applying this all over my lid to my brow and also on my inner corner and all along my lower lash line. And I'm putting this all over the eye area because we're going to be putting eye makeup all over there, so I wanted to do this before I did my face makeup and make sure that in entire area is primed. I'm now going to take this eyeshadow that I got from my Wannable collection and it's like a rosy nude shade and with a fluffy brush like this I'm going to apply this all over the eye just to set the eye primer and this will make it not crease and last longer. I'm now going to take this color wedge on a big fluffy brush and I'm going to apply this into the hollow of my crease. And as opposed to holding my brush flat against my eye I'm actually going to hold it up on an angle and that's going to help create sort of a cut crease. And I'm also going to bring this shade all the way into my nose and I'm going to actually make it darkest on the inner corner as opposed to the outer corner and you guys really have to trust me with this makeup. It looks so messy and so bad for a really really long time. It doesn't actually come together until you put the lashes on the look I think so you really just have to bear with me through this but this is what I'm doing as a transition shade and this is so important to blend out the entire makeup so we really need the shade. I'm now taking this 24-7 liner by Urban Decay and lining my upper lash line very messily and it's just really like a quick little line and then I'm going to blend that out with a smudge brush all the way up to my crease and that's going to create a distinction between lid and crease. Now I'm going to take the color Espresso by MAC on a tapered crease brush from Sigma and I'm now going to apply this into the crease of my eye but I'm going to kind of fake my crease a little bit and put it up a little bit higher than it normally is and so we're making like a very very subtle cut crease again bringing it all the way into the nose and inner corner of my eye and making it darkest there. Taking this black from my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, I'm going to go in with this color on a pencil brush and kind of just go over where I put the espresso color and then take espresso back on the tapered brush and blend this out. I'm also going to make a distinct outer V on my eye as well and connect the cut crease that we just made on the upper crease to the bottom portion of the lid. And again, just continue to blend this out on both eyes and, you know, you just got to keep working at these shades and make them not too muddy but not too harsh, yet harsh enough to where there are cut crease. It's really hard to explain what I'm doing, so thank God that I'm also showing you. This is also one of the steps where the look starts to come together. So I'm going to take Pistol, which is also in the Naked 2 palette, which is just like a gunmetal gray kind of color. And I'm going to apply this on a brush similar to a MAC 217. It's by Sigma and I forget the number. But I'm going to apply this from my lid up to my crease. And I'm going to meet it up to where we put the black. And this really will help blend it. And I'm also going to blend it to my inner corner as well. Now I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and make a very distinct line. Almost like a winged eyeshadow. And doing this before you do face makeup will really 
accentuate this eye makeup and make it pop. Now for my face makeup, I'm starting off by applying a light foundation to the center of my face and this is the Naked Foundation by Urban Decay and I'm applying this with a small stippling brush because I think it looks very airbrushed. And then after that's applied to the center of my face, I'm going in with a darker foundation shade and applying this to the outer parts of my face and this will one, create dimension to my face and two, highlight and contour to my face. Now I'm taking some concealer and this is the NARS Creamy Concealer and I'm applying this to my under eyes and um, in between my eyebrows, down my nose, on my cupid's bow and on my chin and then I'm going to be blending this out with my favorite brush. This is the Real Techniques Setting Brush and then I'm also going to set this with some powder and it's the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This look would not be complete in the least bit without eyebrows. So here I'm going in with my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Soft Brown and I'm going to be pretty harshly defining my eyebrows. They really make such a difference so I'm making pretty bold ones. And then I'm going to go in and carve them out with some concealer. This is just the same NARS Creamy Concealer as before. And this will also highlight the look and finish off the brows. I'm now going to go in with Pistol on that same small smudger brush and apply this all along my lower lash line to blend out the look and make it not so top heavy. And then I'm going to take a little bit of black and put this on just the lower lash line and not really so much of anything lower than that or any like, you know, more dramatic than that. To give a contrasting effect, I'm now going to go in with Half Baked for my Naked 2 palette and apply this to the inner corner of my lid. And also, whenever I am going to put the eyeliner down, the gold really makes the black stand out and pop a lot more. Here I'm rimming my waterline with a black eyeliner and this is the NARS Larger Than Life Eyeliner in Via Veneto and I'm being sure to bring this all the way to the very inner tear duct of my eye. And then I'm just smudging that down ever so slightly with the same smudger brush to my lower lash line. I'm now going to line my upper lash line. You can use a pencil, gel, or liquid. I'm just most comfortable with liquid so I'm using a liquid eyeliner. And I'm going to wing the upper lash line pretty dramatically on the outer corner and the inner corner just by extending my inner corner down a little bit and connecting it to my lower lash line. It's a very simple technique but it really adds a lot of dimension to the look and really shapes your eye beautifully. I'm now going to take my favorite bronzer and this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm going to contour my cheekbones, temple, jawline, and nose with this. I'm then going to go in with some blush. This is Sandy Pink by Bobbi Brown and apply it to the temples of my face, working it to the apples of my cheeks, and then finish off the face by highlighting with a little bit of this highlighter from the balm on the cheekbones. I'm going to start off by finishing the eyes by applying a little bit of mascara to my upper lashes and then going in with super dramatic crazy lashes. These are by the Kardashian makeup line and I actually think they discontinued this pair of lashes. But any like long spidery lashes that are kind of clumpy together would work perfectly. Just like really spidery lashes would be great. So I'm just applying this to my obviously upper lashes and then I'm finishing off the eyes by applying a little bit of mascara. This look can do a ton of different lips so I'm starting off with this one lip color that I got from my Wannable collection and it's like a lipstick but it's super super hydrating and moisturizing. It's like this deep plum color. I really 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 like it so you guys can either do like a dramatic lip option which looks like this. When I put this on it reminded me of something that like a dancer would wear so I really ended up liking it but I wanted to do more of a nude lip so then I just went in with Myth Lipstick by MAC and applied it to my obviously upper and lower lip. And then I went in with a little bit of lip gloss and this is, oh my gosh, I forget what it's called. It's a luster glass, I think, and something with gold in the title, but that's it. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up because it was definitely an out-of-the-box tutorial for me. But I really do like how it turned out and I'm very, very pleased with it. These are falling in my eyes. So if you guys also want to see more of these videos, be sure to give me a comment below and let me know if you guys want to see like more out-of-the-box tutorials. And also make sure you guys um, like follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram and send me any pictures of tutorials or like makeup that you guys see that you want me to recreate because I actually go to those pictures a ton for tutorials and I'm going to try to screenshot your names and then give you guys like shout outs in the videos. I think that'd be really fun. 
So I'm going to start doing that too. So make sure you guys send me pictures of what you guys want to see. Hey, if you guys also want to see more videos, I subscribe. I mean, I subscribe. I upload on Thursdays and Sundays. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss another video. And I think that's all I had to say. Do you like my handy dandy little setup that I made? I just didn't really feel like sitting. I kind of felt like sitting on the ground and not using a tripod. So it's on a windowsill. I hope you guys are okay with that. But I'm going to go because I'm talking way too much. And yeah, okay, bye. I also got a good manners for nice people who sometimes say the F word. And um, I guess my mom is trying to hint at me that I have bad manners. So 